Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got a nice coffee base that we're gonna redo. So follow along. All right, recently we redid a desk for a client, and well, she had this sitting around her house too, and we thought we'd spruce it up a little bit. It is a foldable or retractable coffee table, and what we've already done is remove the brass from it, which the client kept and is going to clean those up. We're going to get rid of these rubber guards here. We'll put them with it, but we're not going to put them back on since they're a different color than what we're going to paint this. We're going to take the legs off. We're going to clean up all of it, sand it down, paint it black, and well, I think it's going to pop pretty nicely after we get it all taken apart and taken care of. So, first step, let's remove all of the the uh, rubber pieces, we're going to remove each of the legs, get to this plate, and then from there we can start sanding. So let's get started. We're just going to clean up the hardware with a little uh, wire brush here, just get the uh, grooves so when we tighten it all back together it goes nice and smooth together. So spend a minute here working on this. Alright, so we've got our pieces ready here. So what we're going to do is sand these down on the curves here. We'll hand sand those and we'll get these looking pretty and then we can start painting. So 80 grit sandpaper, DeWalt sander, face mask, let's begin. Alright, we got our bare primer paint, it's black out black, eggshell, and what we're going to do <laughs> is do all these legs twice. So it's a little more complicated than it looks in the sense of it doesn't sit flat so you can't do all of it at once. You got to paint as much as you can on one side, let it dry, do the other side, and flip it over and over and over again. And uh, well, you don't want to keep getting scratched by this, so we'll be putting a blanket down after this or a towel down after this so it won't scratch and get this all damaged either. So and then also you don't want to get all the globs up in here or on the edges so you got to make sure that everything you do stays nice and clean. Remember you're doing two coats so it doesn't have to be perfect on that first coat of coverage. You always got that second coat that'll come in handy. So let's get started. We have our very thin finishing paste or wax. Uh, it's natural, so we're going to just kind of rub it over all of this. We've already put it together, so you get to see the final project here in just a second. All right, here it is completed. Blackout black, bare prime and paint, two coats. We're not going to scuff this one up, we just waxed it uh, per the client's request. Now on the bottom here, she's got the brass, she'll put those on. We'll put new tops on this and uh, she'll have the top on it for it. And this piece is going to look pretty amazing in her house. 
So uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. Leave us a comment or two. Tell us what you think about this.